tribulation, okay? So Habakkuk chapter 2, I'm only going to be covering, I think, about seven verses. And these seven verses are going to cover the, um, this entire information. So right here is Habakkuk. Notice how his prophecy is going to be fulfilled in the tribulation. But you see these current things that are going on right now that could fulfill the actual event in the tribulation. Any moment. Any moment. We just need that rapture. We just need for that rapture to happen. And then the Lord can launch a lot of these things to happen in the tribulation. But there's no doubt that when you see things going on right now, that that book is real. That book is real. There's no doubt about it. Okay, Habakkuk chapter 2, and then we're going to read verse 5. Verse 5. Now, it's important to understand that this is talking about the Antichrist. Now, you might say, why is this the Antichrist? The reason why is this. Usually, people will think when you look at verse 4, verse 4, this is talking about the ungodly man. Okay, like generally an unjust or an ungodly man when you look at verse 4. However, verse 5, when you keep reading down, it shows right here his desires as hell and death. Why, if you recall Revelation chapter 6, which is about the tribulation, it talks about hell and death. But another one shows out right here, he gathereth unto him all nations, Heapeth unto him all people. Why, obviously, that's not a normal unjust man. This has got to be a one world ruler. See that? So this is no doubt the Antichrist. But what's even more so, what's even more convincing, is when you read verse 2 and 3 by context. 2 and 3, God tells Habakkuk to write the vision. And then uh, when you write this vision, it is what at verse 3? A appointed time but at the end it shall speak. So it gave you two clues here. If you read the book of Daniel, you'll notice when it talks about vision or a time that's appointed, that's Daniel's wording. And the prophet Daniel is about tribulation, obviously, if you read tribulation. They say that the book of Revelation and the book of Daniel go hand in hand, and that is absolutely true. Daniel's end times old test for, uh, if you want... A book on end times in the Old Testament, it's Daniel. A book on the end times in the New Testament, that's Revelation. The second clue is, it says the end. Now, if you know your Bible, if you always read the end, the end, the end, the end, the end, it all, uh, most of the time, 90% of the time, it connects to the tribulation or the end times. That's why we call it end times, right? Because it's called the end. So there's absolutely no doubt, this is not just a normal unjust man. This is about the Antichrist. So let's look at the Antichrist here, who is a one-world ruler. Now, this one-world ruler, if people are going to vote in for this type of person, and if the people are, want to choose this type of person, they have to like his, the characteristics of this one-world ruler, right? So 5, 6, 7, 8 shows you the characteristics of this one-world ruler. Now, what you're going to find out is today... Today's people and elites or uh, one world rulers, for now it's plural. It's going to become singular. But you notice how the powers are becoming more and more less and becoming singular. Okay? So eventually it will get there. It will. Okay? And they'll, uh, they'll mask it with democracy when it's not. Okay, I got a lot of news source, so I can't just keep talking. So let me wrap this up quickly. Okay? Uh, the bottom line is this. The bottom line is then if uh, the people like these characteristics of this one world ruler, they should have characteristics themselves so that they can empathize or that matches up with him. Okay? So look how this is all going to match with the Antichrist, with today's events, with the, our current one world rulers and people who share those characteristics. Okay, first things first. The Bible says in verse 5, Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine. So the Antichrist, he is going to sin by wine. Now, if you look at the wine right here, it's not just drinking. This drinking is connected sexually. You might say, really? Yeah, because look at verse 15, 15. The context, the author. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, 
that putteth thy, uh, puttest thy bottle to him, and makest him drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. See, that's sexual. The drinking is intended to be sexual. If you look at Revelation 17, which is about the tribulation, the Antichrist bride, so to speak, is known to be mother of harlots. See, so something sexual is involved here. Now, isn't this wording interesting? I bet you some of you didn't look at this before. Look at verse 15. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, and putteth thy bottle to what? Him. This male antichrist intends to make his male neighbor drunk to do something sexual. That shows there's some kind of homosexual tendency. But even more so, isn't this wording interesting? And makest him drunken also that thou mayest look on his nakedness. Is that what the KJV says? What are the pronouns that the world is pushing with the LGBTQ plus propaganda? There. Now, I'm pretty sure that the author, that he was probably talking about a plurality of uh, people that the Antichrist wants something sexual with. But the Bible has a tendency of being prophetic, jumping in the future, and it makes you wonder if the Holy Spirit put that word there for a reason. That's interesting. So yes, there is no doubt. Um, when you look at this one right here, transgressors by wine, it has to match up with the LGBTQ uh, plus propaganda that we're seeing. AP News, title of the idol, uh, excuse me, idol, okay, because I'm going fast, okay, and I have 78 articles, okay. So I tend to give a lot and document it. So let me just make this fast. Title of the article from AP News, Biden signs gay marriage law, calls it a blow against hate. For some of you who didn't know that, that's been pretty historic. And because of that, a lot of uh, conservative, conservatives got upset. Uh, Fox News, title of their article, Twitter users scorch Biden administration for inviting drag queen to White House. It's a slap in the face. So you see, if you look at him signing the bill, you see all these uh, people uh, rounding up, but they're all LGBTQ plus people and the way they dress. And then it just makes you go, if you are a Bible-believing Christian, how sick and how low can this country get? Can you, can you imagine having that? Uh, but here's the thing. Biden administration is really pushing this LGBTQ plus propaganda so then they try to push the court where they can forcibly have doctors and insurers perform or pay gender transition procedures, even if they object on grounds of their own conscience. But the court actually realized that that's too much, so thankfully they blocked it. Title of the article from Epoch News, Court Permanently Blocks Biden Administration's Transgender Mandate. And would you know, this is from ABC 15 Local News. Look at these people, how loving and peaceful they are. You know, uh, do you remember the non-binary Biden nuclear official? Or if some of you haven't keep tabs, it's okay. You don't have to, okay? But you'd be surprised who's on his staff, okay? The kind of this propaganda that they're really pushing there. But you know what happened? This is not a surprise. Title of the article from ABC 15 Local News Non-binary Biden nuclear official accused of stealing woman's suitcase at airport. Believe it or not. And actually, that's been an issue, so then they were bringing it up in court. Man, what a stellar reputation and testimony. You know why? The Bible warns you about this kind of lifestyle. It's not innocent. It's not pure and nice like the TV would display it to you. When you have this sexual fluidity that they call it, it's something that you don't put a boundary on. When you, don't, when you don't have a tendency to put boundaries, what does that mean? You don't have a tendency of self-control. Look, I took multicultural counseling. That included this kind of propaganda. You know what they mention about these kind of clients? Yeah, you have to be really sensitive. Why is that? Why is it that they have really special uh, mental uh, issues that you have to talk to, that you have to help with? Makes you wonder why. Because they're not used to that self-control over their own life and self. So bad. 
Cambridge uh, title of the article from CNN. Wouldn't you know? Look up the definition of woman right now in Cambridge Dictionary. Title of the article, Cambridge Dictionary's definitions for man and woman now includes trans people. Title of the article from CNN. They, uh, they defined this for women. They said an adult female human being with the second one, an adult who lives and identifies as female, though they may have been said to have a different sex at birth. Come on, seriously? This is how low that our world has fallen down. Now, the world just falls down so low so they could care less that they would even, believe it or not, when you have these gender reveal parties, now we just had one recently, right? You know, the blue and the pink thing. You know what? These liberals, they start to push, you know, this blue and pink color. See, yeah, if you've been around this liberal community, work with them, you know what they're thinking. Their thinking is, that's evil. That's, that's discriminatory. And so they got, uh, so then they were criticizing that. The Cosmopolitan wrote an article critiquing that and associated that with Nazis, Hitler, uh, Holocaust. Why? Because the LGBTQ plus people, you know, they were, were dressed up in pink. So then they were saying, that's so offensive. So you know what happened? <laughs> Cosmopolitan gets slammed so hard for that because a bunch of mothers, I mean, even left-wing mothers were getting upset about that. Like, so you're telling me I can't celebrate that? So they retracted, you know. So then, so th they had to calm down after that. Title of the article is Cosmopolitan gets slammed after blaming Hitler for gender reveal parties. Can you imagine how ridiculous this thing is? It's so scary now that the title of the article from the New York Post, yeah, they don't post this. So the New York Post had to post it. Norwegian actress Tonje Kajevjan, I think if I'm pronouncing that person's name right, faces up to three years in prison for saying men cannot be lesbians. Can you believe that? Oh, by the way, this person is a lesbian filmmaker. And then got in, got in prison for saying that. You think that this world is a nice place, right? You don't keep tabs about what's going on in the world. They don't, they don't, of course they won't put this like mainstream. You have to dig and research to pull it up from mainstream. Now, this is from, uh, this is an, there's an actual video recording that shows this. And you can watch it from Project Veritas, obviously. But uh, the title of this is, I'm going to try to uh, be uh, discreet as I can, all right? Elite Chicago Private School's Dean of Students brags about bringing in LGBTQ plus health center to teach queer sex to minors. And then he actually said, that's a really cool part of my job. And then, you know, these sexual instruments are passed around with 14 year olds and stuff like that. And you know what the Chicago Private School did? They covered it up. They said, well, you, no, no, we'll still defend it and stuff like that. Can you believe it? That's how low it goes. You think that uh, I'm being unfair to the liberals? Well, they'll push this transgender surgery on you, but what if that transgender person, after going through that surgery, wants to revert back? Shouldn't that person have a right? Well, guess what? This is from, they, only a conservative news source had to cover this because mainstream wants to hide it. This is from the Daily Caller. Title of the article is Famous Transgender Navy SEAL Chris Beck Announces Detransition Calls for Treatments on Kids to Stop. Why? You know what happened? CNN used him. And he mentioned how they were pushing him on this when he was going through therapy treatment. And then all of a sudden, you know, he was encouraged he would get famous, he would get a bulk. And then so CNN pushed this so hard. But then after that, uh, he said, no, I've been pushed. I've been programmed by these people. And then now, uh, oh, you don't hear a peep about it. Yeah. And then he's saying, don't let them push this onto your kids and your people because he knew full well what happened. How about it? That's sad. That's sad. But you can watch the video uh, of that recording where he announced it. Now, this, th uh, when you have sexual flu fluidity, the question is, what are the bounds? They will say consenting adults usually. So then what about bestiality then? What about incest, you know? 
So then if bestiality don't count then because of consenting adults, then what about, uh, in, uh, what about incest then, see? So see, the thing is, how you know the boundary should be the scripture, not public opinion. Yeah. Amen. Not public opinion. Look how majority vote went in Germany, right? Yeah. And I thought that the liberals championed minorities, right? Hmm, how about that? Sometimes you got to realize majority is not always the right thing. Sometimes minority could be right. Yeah. So then how do you tell which one's right and wrong? Simple, the scripture. scripture. But what happens when man drops the Bible? Then I don't care how conservative you are, you go down a rabbit hole. So you can be conservative Christian all you want and champion morals. Look, you have no, bu you have no set rules, no standards. Right there. This is, fr this is not a surprise when you hear all these controversial sexual things coming out. All of a sudden when this is pushed. Title of the article from Entrepreneur is, It was inappropriate. Balenciaga's creative director breaks silence amid ad campaign controversy. You might say, why? They were putting uh, children with the photos with those teddy bear dolls dressed up in bondage, basically. That was so bad. And actually, what made it worse is the liberal, even liberals uh, were even pointing out in their news sources that if you zoomed in, then you could see the bag which had these court documents that were, t uh, that were talking about ways how to get around pedophilia. If you don't, look it up yourself. You can research it yourself. Celebrities got so upset that they spoke out against this. What makes you think the entertainment industry, industry is getting more bold in this? Like I told you, there's no boundary here. There's no boundary here. They're aiming for the children now. And as a matter of fact, this is a title from Reuters. And they did a fact check. Title of the article, from, uh, uh, title of the article is Fact Check. Images from Disney series of children holding We Love You Satan Blackguards are missing context. So for some of you who don't know, there was a Disney Plus uh, Christmas miniseries. Uh, I think it's called the Santa Clauses. But what they had was is that the children, they were holding We Love You Santa. But then as a joke, you know, they, uh, did, uh, they reorganized it where it was We Love You Satan. So, oh, no, that was a mistake. So then they have to switch it back to We Love You Santa, like a ha-ha thing. So for now, you see it as ha-ha, but it makes you wonder, especially the last time I talked to you about Disney and the children. Remember, the, and they admitted this, Disney admitted this, that within their shows, they put these kind of sexual, uh, I think they call it innuendos, in there in between. They're known for that. So what makes you trust what Disney says? That it was just a mistake and stuff like that. It's just part of the show. I'm sure they said, they said the same thing with all that stuff. Now, uh, Disney posted an animated movie called Strange World, and that was really trying to push the LGBTQ plus propaganda. And you know what happened? Title of the article, and this is from Comic Years, who keeps track of the animation comic industry. Disney's Strange World rating is lowest in Disney history. Yeah, of course. No, no surprise right here. But critics, critics put 75% in Rotten Tomatoes. Metacritic put 65. You don't see bias here? Come on. It's, no, it's infamously known in Hollywood who fills out a lot of the directors over there. Oh, come on. It's, it's, you don't see bias in our world. You're so blind. Here's another one. Disney... They re, uh, a lot of people knew this propaganda Disney's pushing. So as a matter of fact, this is the title of the article from Fortune. Poor earnings, power struggles, and politics, the forces that push Disney to replace CEO Bob Chappelle after just two years. And this guy, Bob Chappelle, was even, a they didn't like him. They kicked him out because he wasn't more woke enough. And this was the guy who was really pushing woke stuff into Disney. And you know what he did when he was getting out? He was apologizing for not being woke enough. So you can stand up for these guys, but guess what? I guarantee you this. You know, they will bite back at you. They will bite back at you. Whatever you do won't be enough, man. 
Okay, the next one. Notice right here in Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 5. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell. So notice right here, the, another trait of the Antichrist is he's very, very proud. He doesn't see his errors, his folly. Also, he doesn't stay within his own territory. See that? He doesn't mind his own business. He enlarges his desire. He wants more control over people. And it becomes more apparent when you read the last part. He gathereth all nations, heapeth to himself all people. And even the people get upset at him at verse 6, 7, and 8. And what you're seeing right now is people do getting upset at this nonsense. Because they're pushing not just their propaganda, but forcing it. And forcing people and not staying within their own territory. But then trying to put it upon your next generations, upon your homes, and they want more control over your life. Would you believe it that we're now at a time where police, that uh, they can just uh, run inside your house and in front of the people in your home, they can just arrest you without some kind of document or form? This actually happened. This is from CBS Boston. The title of the uh, video is Warchester, or Warchester Pastor, speaks out after police release video of his tasing. And if you watch that, he ran inside his church and the, uh, you know, he was talking to the police. Then he went inside the church and the officer just chased after him all of a sudden. And he's like, what are you doing? And then he, he was running and then the officer chased after him, tased him from the whole congregation. Now, if I'm going to be totally fair, all right, to be uh, non-biased, perhaps the pastor said or did something where he should have been more wise about it. Because I do know one thing about cops. If you... Uh, be more wise and then you try to act innocent and then you try to be considerate of their situation, they'll tend to be a little bit more lenient with you. But when you're confrontational, they don't like that. So maybe he could, so he could have used more wisdom. But the point is, notice that that cop just didn't care and just ran inside and from the whole church and then tased him from the people and did it with another individual too. When did, uh, when did law ever have the power to do that now? When did uh, we ever get to a point in time that you can just run inside and have the power to arrest and then to tase in, inside your own home like that? I mean, you got to have warrants. You got to do this kind of stuff. You got to have good reason, not just a guy getting upset at the officer. So as time passes by, you got to realize this. As time passes by, don't think that you're safe within your own rights within your own homes. If there's one thing I've learned about law, sure, you can use Constitution. Sure, there are some things you can use to still maintain your rights and defend yourself, but they always look things by context. And they'll use context or historical context to find ways around it. But they'll push it more. And then not only that, they can change it in time too, you got to realize. They can change laws and things in time as they keep pushing it. Title of the article from the Hill. Notice that this power, the Antichrist kingdom, before he takes it, they have to take more control over people. No man has any privacy. No person has the right to himself or herself. Title of the article from the Hill. Censorship by surrogate. Why must document dump could be a game changer. Now for some of you who don't know, when Musk revealed everything, of what was going on in Twitter. And he undoubtedly proved that uh, all the things that the liberals were pushing, that the Twitter was siding with the liberals, that they were deliberate, deliberately censoring information that critiqued the liberal party and supported the liberal party. But not only that, federal agents were even involved in that. So how does news media respond to Musk's revealing? From Fox News, the title of the article, Musk Revelations on Twitter Censoring Hunter Biden Laptop Story Prompt Liberal Rage. They call it hack stuff. That's it. That's it. And when you look at their articles, it's not that convincing. When you got to realize this. When, you're, when you actually work in Twitter and you have those papers and you actually show it and then you see it, you think otherwise. Unless you have a very strong bias... And then you want to see how other way around you can go around the wording of those Twitter uh, censorship and those posts, even though he displays the evidence. 
But you can't hide the evidence because even left-wingers are admitting this. Title of the article from the billboard. So this is the entertainment industry. Moby says CIA agents asked him to help them take down the Trump-Russia conspiracy. He admitted that those agents came to him and the Fed agent said, hey, we know you have a huge social media platform. So we need you to speak this for us because Trump is doing this and you're doing this for the public safety of our country. And you think this is conspiracies? No, this is normal. I, even in their official website, they have a certain department where they work with celebrities. Entertainment industry. Well, I didn't know. Yeah, you don't know. Haven't been researching. Now, this is from a reporter. And she actually, uh, she actually wrote for the Wall Street before. So her name is Julie Kelly. She tweeted this, which was an interesting tweet. I searched full report for the name of FBI Director Chris Wray. It's not once mentioned in an 845-page report, which means the committee did not interview the man in charge of the most powerful law enforcement agency in the country, NDC, about what happened on January 6, 2021. Remember that uh, riot that came out in January 6? So then there were, if you recall, uh, Senator Ted Cruz like, uh, like really grilling out these uh, feds and agents. Is it true that so-and-so was a part of this? Is this true that so-and-so was a part of this? And then they always say, I cannot confirm or deny. I cannot confirm or deny. And makes you trust them, right? Look, I'm not saying that you have to believe me what I'm saying right here, but what I'm saying is you ought to be very gullible for believing them. If we learned anything in higher ed, it's to always have critical thinking, mm -hmm. not believability. Right. Right. Amen. This is the title from the New York Times article. FBI had informants in Proud Boys, court papers suggest. How about that? So they had feds within that riot before. Here's another one from The Intercept. Title of the article, Twitter aided... Twitter aided the Pentagon in its covert online propaganda campaign. Oh, how about that? Now, this is all recent news, guys. I'm reading from uh, December, okay? Most of it is December, if not November. Here's another one. The title of the article from CBS News. And by the way, this is old news, okay? But I don't know if you knew about this. <laughs> this should be old news. Top-level FBI agent under fire. Why? For role in Hunter Biden investigation. Resigns. Oh, how convenient. Can't take the hot seat. You trust these guys? Here's another one from uh, Newsmax. So when Musk exposed it, he was exposing how the, uh, the feds were involved in this. So Musk and, this was very funny, so Musk and Adam Schiff, who was the one in charge of the uh, chair of the House Intelligence and a Democrat, so obviously unbiased, so don't worry, okay? Don't worry. Musk chewed him out, and they were actually having a tweet battle, which is kind of funny, okay? So uh, the title of the article from Newsmax is, Musk asks... Schiff, if he approved hidden state censor censorship after the Twitter files were revealed. He tweeted, as chair of House Intelligence, did you approve hidden state censorship in direct violation of the Constitution of the United States? And then uh, Schiff, you know what, how he responded? You're so busy, you know, I'm, uh, because you have the power to look up dirt on our side, you know, I'm surprised you're not doing something more like for the BLM and for equality. I thought that's what Twitter was known for. You notice that? Get the heat off of yourself and then try to put, you know, talk about something else. How about that? What an honest dude. Honest dude. Makes me sick of the government that we live in. So what happened is, is <laughs> so Musk and Schiff went back and forth and then <laughs> Musk, he deleted the tweet because obviously it wasn't following his policy, but Musk got so incensed that he said, quote, uh, he posted, thankfully you lose your chairmanship very soon. Your brain is too small. That's 
So that's what's going on. So ship is getting hot seat. Top level people are, you know, getting at, resigning, not getting fired. You know, it's like Nixon. You know, uh, in liberal college, what did you hear? Yeah, they, he would have been kicked out. You know, stuff like that about different presidents or different people back then. But you know, they use the word resign because they know what's going to happen to them. So you, so from hearing all this, you know that this is not just something innocent. They're doing this because deliberately they know they're in trouble. If there's one thing you know about history too, even on the conservative side as well. All right, so Elon Musk, for some of you who, who didn't know his political background back then, he, uh, used to, uh, he used to be more liberal. But then once he started to see the evidence for himself, then he started to get more disgusted, and now he's becoming more and more conservative. So, oh, isn't it funny? This guy actually uh, privatized the video or, oh, deleted it maybe. Okay, but <laughs> they deleted it. Isn't it a coincidence? So this is uh, from YouTube, but you can look it up yourself, okay? The, just Google it, and then you should be able to find the video, okay? But Elon Musk... He was on this podcast, which I cannot bring up the evidence now because it got deleted. But Musk uh, went on this podcast and he actually said, you know, the funny thing was the conspiracy theories, what they talked about Twitter, they all, he said, all, they all turned out to be true. How about that? You can only do this if your eyes are open, if you're studying, not just following whatever mainstream school or news or, you know, Hollywood says. It shows how much your in intellect goes then. Here's the article from the New York uh, Times. The title of it is Senate Passes, look how brilliant they are, $1.7 trillion spending bill. You don't even, you're already in debt, all right, by the trillions. In bid to avert government shutdown. You know why? The bill which would provide nearly $50 billion to secure our borders and our state. No, $50 billion in aid to Ukraine. So they would sooner do this for a different country out there, and they don't care about the millions that, or the thousands that just swarmed inside our country. They complain about billions spent or you know, millions, whatever. What about that, man? You know what that is? A proud man. Yeah. They don't see their own folly. And these people, they just... They don't care. They just want more control, more control. So uh, you know what happened? This is getting so out of hand with the uh, migrants and everything that Homeland Security actually, uh, title of the article from the Washington Times, Homeland Security pleads with migrants to turn back in Christmas warning. That's how bad it is. Why? Because who's going to shelter them? Who's going to home them? Oh, we all should do that. No, if they, if they start, you, it's easy for you to say that when you take care of yourself. But then when you have a bunch of them dropped off at your place, let's see. Because this is from ABC 7 News. Title of the video is Migrants Dropped Off Near Kamala Harris's DC Home on Frigid Christmas Eve. You know what she did? She didn't do anything. It was those humanitarian organizations that had to pick them up in that cold. Where was she, man? Hypocrites that they're proud people say one thing, but they do another. So look how, uh, I mean, look how prideful these people are. This guy thinks that he should still remain the president of the United States when he's going through issues. The title of the article from, uh, from the New York Post, Biden flashes cheat sheet telling him when to sit, speak at G20. So you want to, so this is so, as some of you already know about this, at the G20 event, Biden repeated the same thing with this cheat sheet, which is basically they'll, uh, they'll highlight you as if he doesn't know, because remember some of those moments where he didn't know who to shake hands with or who to talk to? So they were telling him that you have to, and they'll tell him also that you have to sit right here and then you have to deliver this opening remark. As a matter of fact, even Snopes can't deny that. Snopes, as you know, is that infamous website that always tries to get on any, cons uh, any conspiracy theory or conservative 
side and try to debunk them. But even Snopes couldn't deny that that was real. So their title of their article is, Are President Biden's Cheat Sheets Unusual? So then they can't deny that. But how do they get around it? They always get around it. They'll say, it's Trump even had that. Everybody has a cheat sheet. Because, you know, when you give a speech, you know, you have these things, right? But this is, I just laugh. If you, it's not convincing. If you look at some of those presidents' cheat sheets or helping cards, whatever, it's very different from Biden's. It's as if you have to instruct the person who's really going through a cognitive decline, the wording. You shake hand with this, simple one sentence, you sit right here. This is very different, okay, from a typical speech or other official things. So you can look it up and compare, all right? But that's just really funny. I find it very unconvincing as I look at both sides. All right, now the elites and the people, they're getting so prideful that notice that their folly drops down. If you're going to look at uh, uh, elitists preparing the way for the Antichrist, not just the states, a lot of people are paying attention to England, right? Well, believe it or not, now this is from IBT, okay, news. So it's not really, uh, it's not really public in mainstream news yet, but this is one of their uh, news in the entertainment. And so we have yet to see. But remember those strange incidents with uh, Diana's death, Princess Diana's death? And then this really, uh, this actually happened where they brought up that complaint in the court case where they wondered if P Prince Andrew was involved in that. That was a serious actual case that happened. But obviously, they were still able to get away with it. So this happened from IBT News. King Charles III's hidden homosexual trice during Princess Diana marriage exposed in bombshell leak report. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what will happen. But the sexual thing is not a big surprise because this one is now mainstream. This is from The Telegraph, okay? The Telegraph. So this is, the, so this is a big news in England, this source. Title of the article from The Telegraph itself, King Charles has evicted Duke of York from Buckingham Palace. That's really big right there. You know why? Because of uh, uh, Prince Andrew's ties to the Prince Andrew's ties to J Jeffrey Epstein. The case. This is from the New York itself. So both sides agree this actually happened. Title of the article from the Intelligencer, the New York. Prince Andrew settles sex abuse lawsuit with Virginia uh, Jufri, if I'm pronouncing that right. So that's why uh, the king was really nervous about that. But don't worry, you know, uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, everybody will be all right with them, right? Mm -hmm. Title of the article, this is from Politico, okay? Opinion, 2022 is a year we all finally got tired of narcissists. You know who's included in this list? Well, obviously, if they're left wing, they include Trump, they include Musk, they include Kanye West, but you wouldn't believe who they put here. Yes, they put Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in there. You might say, why? It's because of that uh, ridiculous Netflix. Uh, I think it was from Netflix, but it was coming out as being popular, and people just saw them as narcissists. What's this about elitists? Proud man. See, they don't care about the folly. With their elitist status, their pride, and then, but they just keep ruling. Take control. That's the kind of world we live in. We don't live in, in, in an intelligent society or c capable leaders. We don't. Now, the power has to increase then. They have to control more. And this is obvious. Now, this is a shocking video. It's still up. This is from uh, the channel uh, Main CO 64 And it's a very interesting conversation. This is... Uh, this is a conversation where professionals are actually uh, talking about the crypto. And this guy, let's see right here, his name is Clive Thompson. He's a retired managing director at Union Bancaire Privé so in Switzerland. So this, this ain't your average Joe guy, okay? You know what he said? 
Title of the video is The Currency Reset. Well, kind of like rate reset, right? Currency Reset will wipe out creditors and usher in CBDCs. Why? Because of that one point something trillion spending and all that kind of garbage going on. So they're switching to electronic. That's not a surprise. Ever since the 90s, Christians have been talking about that. A mark, you know, yeah. it, will go, it will go right here one day. It'll be wireless. It's not going to be something that you can hand, some substance you can hold in your hand again. It's getting there. Remember BlackRock? They're probably uh, one of the top in the elitist pyramid. They even knew this. Title of their article in MoneyWise, BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, says central banks are deliberately causing recessions and warns of a downturn unlike any other. Three shockproof assets to consider. Did you hear that? This ain't your average bank. This is BlackRock right here, all right? They're one of the top banks, if not the top bank. And you're blind. You're blind. You still don't get it. This is from a Money Wise article, okay? This ain't Christian news source, okay? Now, uh, if we look at the next part of the verse, okay? Notice that the Bible says about the Antichrist. Uh, let me move here just to make it a little bit more unique for the viewers because they don't see that. So we see this matching so far. Let's go to here. The Bible says, enlargeth, in verse 5, his desire as hell, as death, cannot be satisfied. So the Antichrist is tied to increasing the deaths. So the, the disguise is, and the Bible warned about this, when they say peace and safety, 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 that's what the Bible says. The Bible says, and sudden destruction cometh. Yeah. The Bible says, Revelation 6, death and hell increase. Yeah. So they, even though they'll, the current elites will argue about safety, the Bible says, no, it's just the opposite. Death will increase. And the Antichrist and Satan's agenda is that. If our current world leaders don't see that as their goal, but the spirit behind them, that's their goal. The spirit behind that, the devil behind them, that's his goal, even if that's not theirs. Title of the video in China in Focus, NTD channel. So they concentrate on Chinese news. This among the CCP elites rise as, let's uh, eat death, okay? That's all I'll say. Wave hits China. China claims sufficient drug supply. Of course, they always do. Yeah, They're always okay. But see, notice that the... Full lockdown isn't working either. You notice that? Here's the title of the article from uh, KFF.org, and this is not, uh, this is, uh, oh, KFF, that's Kaiser, actually, excuse me. So I do a disservice if I just say KFF, okay? So this is uh, Kaiser. So this is their top uh, medical uh, article, okay? So uh, let's see. I want to make sure if KFF is Kaiser, because I keep... <laughs> I have like 70-something news sources. Yeah, Kaiser Family Foundation. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to misquote. Kaiser even admitted this in their article. They put this in medical news. Why do, you wouldn't believe it, why do these people represent most right now? Would you believe that? They actually admitted that. Now, of course, they'll always have some kind of explanation. And I, don't, I didn't even have to read it, all right? I knew what they were going to say, you know? Well, it's because more of, the, more of the prospects are obviously elderly, you know? So stuff like that. And guess what? That's what they said later on. I'm not a dummy, man. I'm not a dummy. Of course, they always have some kind of excuse or something. But here's another one. This is, um, so good old Bill Gates. You know what he's doing, Okay. Uh, for some of you who have heard about, uh, I think it was event 201, I forgot the number, but he did this coincidentally 2019, right before 2020 when the real thing hit. And that event, I think it was 201, if I gave the numbers right, was an exercise drill if the real thing was about to happen. And then coincidentally, it just so happened the following months. Just weird. 
but you, guess what? He's at it again in the Center for Health Security channel, their own official channel, the big guys. And they put this unlisted. You, you wonder why. So, <laughs> Catastrophic contagion highlights real. Yeah, they're doing another exercise wrong. Have your fingers crossed. Winter's coming, you know. Well, so we'll see what'll happen. So obviously, uh, DeSantis, uh, he's upset about this, and he doesn't uh, trust uh, what the current uh, world is doing. So then the title of the article from AP News, Florida High Court okays grand jury probe of, uh, of this from DeSantis. Wow, that's really huge, actually. That's really huge if Florida High Court, High Court okays it for Rick DeSantis to investigate this because he knew there's something fuzzy or weird going on. So he doesn't trust the system well. So Fauci, how he responds from CNN title, DeSantis calls for jury to investigate. Uh-huh. Hear Fauci's response. <laughs> and Fauci, uh, what does he say? He's just, that's just ridiculous and stuff like that. Same old, same old. And the New York Times, title of their article, get ready, you wouldn't believe it, so this is very scary. The triple-demic holiday, how to fly more safely, from the New York Times. Wow, it's just going to amp up. Look, it's, a, it's called the never-ending story part three movie that you're watching. All right, it will go on. Trust me, the same old story goes on. Why? Because how can you keep control? You don't need rocks for brains to figure that out. <laughs> you wouldn't believe this. This is how desperate they are. Title of the article from New York Post. Scientists warn long frozen zombie. Long frozen zombie is public health threat amid thaw. Just wait, okay? Until like January, February, if you hear something like this, then you're going to go, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Pastor was right. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but the reason why I'm telling you this is, look, they can put any kind of garbage thing out of the hat to maintain control, okay? They'll have a reason to keep this, the never-ending story, on and on and on and on and on. Now, for some of you, I mentioned about uh, some interesting things about what's going to happen. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this winter, okay? Now, I hope it gets better, okay? I really mean that, okay? I hope it gets better, but uh, from what I've heard, something might happen this winter. So just get your, just, just pray to God that what I just said was heresy and I'm wrong because I want to agree with you, okay? But I'm just letting you know ahead of time, okay? So just be careful of that. Now, um, that's why a lot of people are speaking out. Stu Peters, for some of you who probably obviously heard about it, he put out the two documentaries, Watch the Water, and then the other one is uh, uh, suddenly, uh, suddenly Died. I think that's what it is, Suddenly Died. So uh, when you watch those two documentaries, uh, you might go, well, I'm not sure if that's scientifically uh, true or not, you know, if, you're, if you really try to examine it. But there is no doubt when you watch those two documentaries, there is something fishy with certain companies and how they dealt with people. You'll be convinced of that much. Do you remember Mike Eden, who famously uh, spoke out, and he was a bit, one of those big guys who worked at Pfizer, okay? Scientists that people respected directly from Pfizer. You know what he said about all this? Especially uh, when they were dealing with children on this one. He called this they worship Satan. <laughs> wow. Maybe he's going to get closer to the truth than you think one day if he gets saved. Uh, it's obviously, uh, this is a video. Title of the video is Mike Eden, They Worship Satan. All right. And you can find it on Roxy Tube if it's still up there. Okay. All right. The next one right here, but, uh, verse 5, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Okay, so notice right here that the Antichrist, or the New World leaders, that their job is to make sure they gather all nations. 
That's why they pull this equality garbage stuff. They make you think that they're lovey-dovey, but no, they just want more people to control. See, that's why they want to gather all the people together. All right, and uh, I don't have, oh my goodness. All right, I am just going to ram through, all right? I'm not going to waste time explaining. I'm just going to ram through, okay? That way I can get you out at a good time, okay? Because i got to wrap this all up. So you can laugh at some of these articles, all right? Title of the article is from Fox News, Activists Plan Thanksgiving Protest at Plymouth Rock Against Genocide of Indigenous People. They don't even know their history if they study that. I showed you that in discipleship, you might recall. All right, this is the title of the article from BET, okay? BET, the celebrity source. You see Santa Barbara's black student Union holds free Black Panther Wakanda Forever screening. Ask allies to support black-centered event. How so? Keep reading down. We don't want whites participating. No white people allowed. <laughs> you think that's funny? This is from CNN, title of the article. I'm reading from mainstream, okay? If you want to ignore Fox, that's fine, but the other two, they're pretty much liberal or mainstream. Title of the article from CNN. Daylight saving time sheds light on lack of sleep's, sleep's disproportionate impact in communities of color. Oh. Wow, you, do you see how low they go to make sure that they find out everything, what we can do, what we can do? And George Soros nonprofits gave, what, tens of millions to anti-police groups and initiatives in 2021. Tax forms show. End of uh, article from Fox News. Now, this one is very interesting. So remember, the Antichrist has three big religions, okay? One is obviously what they call Christianity, but obviously we know that's not real Christianity. So Seventh-day Adventism, Jehovah's Witness, Catholicism, Greek, uh, Eastern Orthodox, all that. So that's the Antichrist one religion. Number two is Islam, and then number three is Judaism. Now, it's amazing, but as you've heard, Islam is the fastest growing religion. So number two already became number one. If you combine Eastern Orthodox with Catholicism, they still could be slightly bigger. But Islam is growing really big. And if you recall, the Antichrist, he has Syrian and Jewish roots, remember. Now, this is very interesting. Uh, they've built up the Abrahamic Accords building, which they call the Abrahamic Family House. And that's combining, and you thought Dr. Uckman was crazy. He said the three big religions during the 90s, Islam, Judaism, and Catholicism. He's, and guess what? The Family House in Abu Dhabi is concentrating on those three religions. But they claim it'll be operational in a few weeks. And this is from the Khalifa himself. He tweeted it. He said, almost done. The one on the right is a church. The one on the middle is a synagogue. The one on the left is a mosque. How about that? Now, if you read about uh, the demographics for people who are into religion and Islam, it will scare you. What's going on is, remember the liberal pop propaganda that's going on in Western civilization is they're pushing abortion, right? And they're push, pushing about, uh, you know, like uh, people are thinking if you have kids and you can't manage money, you can't take care of yourself. So what's going on is this. The Christian churches, they're shrinking a lot actually because they've been influenced by the uh, Western liberalism. However, Islam, they're not influenced by that. So their demographic is increasing. So even in England, the percentage is growing really, really fast. Now, uh, some of them you can research in the, I think it's called Pew, so Pew Statistics. So you can look at that and see the rate. But uh, there's this one video, which is very disturbing. It's called How Muslim Demographics Are Changing the Face of Europe Forever. Uh, if you look up that video, it'll show that a culture becomes non-existent when you go from, I think, 2 point five or 3.1 if that's how demographics go because if you basically oh, I don't have a genetics lesson okay I can't explain it here if you have a question ask me after class okay I gotta wrap this up quickly but if you do it that low then you'll uh, your culture cannot save itself it'll be gone 
But then the Muslim culture itself, how they're growing, is not uh, the two point one thing. They either go from four points up to eight points. So by, interestingly, by 2040s or 50s, that's going to change the demographics of not just Europe, but even the world. Now, remember what I told you, by 2030, okay, and they put it at 2030s to 40s. If that's true about this religion rising, then when you combine it with the other two mainstream religions, and then if it's true by WEF that they're going to control more this one world currency and then contact aliens by 2030s. And if one Bible believing pastor, what he said was true, that the rapture, uh, that in his own opinion, he can't mark it 100 percent. But he has a theory it's 2030 or 2033. Strong contender. That might be a very interesting way things go. Here's the other one. Now, this is what Israel and Saudi Arabia both said. You know what they said? Title of their article, and this is from uh, the Jerusalem Chronicle, a Jewish source. Israel and Saudi Arabia deal expected within a year, says top Israel diplomat. Wow. But you know what they said? One of the leaders said, it's just a matter of time before some sort of leader steps out of the shadows and full peace is achieved between all the children of Abraham. Remember, Christians have always talked about that ever since 70s, 60s, that that's what the Antichrist will do. He's going to set up some kind of peace treaty, and those three religions are going to combine. The exact quote is as follows. It's just a matter of time before courageous leaders, plural, not singular, you know, step out of the shadows and full peace is achieved between all the children of Abraham. See, that elitist concept is getting there. <laughs> all right, the next one right here, if we read verse 6, notice a taunting proverb against him. So gathereth himself all people, all nations, religions, nations, doesn't matter. The Antichrist is non-discriminatory. He wants to rule over everybody. And he'll use the world's biggest religions, the world's biggest liberal policies that pr push equality to uh, pave the way for his goal. But there are people who taunt this. They see that this is just ridiculous, that this is just nonsensical. They don't follow the world's agenda and program. They see the nonsense of this. And obviously, everyone knows CNN is a joke. Even liberals turn against CNN. Tie of the article from Newsweek. Boycott CNN calls grow as viewers fear network is shifting to what? To the right. Are you kidding me, man? That's why I told you all these people are getting fired. Brian Stelzer, Don Lemon got demoted to a morning show, and then they got rid of their primetime show, and the, oh, man, it's a mess. Even Don Lemon admitted it. The New York Post title, CNN's Don Lemon claims covering politics in primetime gig had gotten old. But I would encourage you to look at his full interview. Like He, could, he was getting tired of pushing that. And he, that's why he went to morning CNN, he claims, because I don't want to cover this political stuff. It's, they're just pushing it down. So guess who will say primetime CNN? Jake Tapper. Some of you probably, like, probably are like, who's he? Yeah, exactly, okay. From Vanity Fair, a liberal news source, title of their article, Jake Tapper wasn't the answer to CNN's primetime headache, obviously. So you know how bad it was? It was so bad. It was so bad that it is as follows. He kicked it off with a one-on-one interview with the President Joe Biden, they said. But it fell third place behind Fox News and MSNBC, drawing a total audience of 808,000 viewers. That's low compared to 2.6 million for Fox News, Hannity. 1.5 million for MSNBC's Alex Wagner tonight. And then uh, it wasn't better a week later or the week after that or even two weeks later, Vanity Fair argues. As of this Monday, Tapper was drawing less than 450,000 total viewers. That's sad. That's sad. That's very close to even the subscribers of our own YouTube channel. That means you're in bad shape, okay? Because I ain't popular, all right? 
Pretty soon I'm going to be popular as Jake Tapper. Isn't that great yeah, news? Okay, yeah. so just wait a little longer, okay? <laughs> now, this is from CNN Business. They admitted this. The title of their article is, CNN is doing so badly, that's why Discovery takes control of HBO, CNN, and Warner Brothers. Why? Creating new media giant. Oh, isn't that nice? What they meant was, we're doing so badly, so please save us, you know? <laughs> Look at the next part of the verse. This is interesting. The last part of verse 6. That laid it himself with thick clay. You know what that is if you read Daniel 2? Yeah. That's the Antichrist trying to create his own seed. Clay is representing humanity. I won't explain that here, all right, because i got to rush, okay? But that means he's creating his own seed. Didn't you know this is very shocking? The, this is a channel from Hashem al uh, Gay Lee, and he posted a video, and this is officially from Ecto Life. Ecto Life, E C T O L I F E. The title of the video is Ecto Life, the world's first artificial womb facility. And if you watch that video, it's pretty disturbing. You thought you're watching The Matrix, where they're producing these people in these pods and laying eggs and stuff like that. So, because of that, the mainstream news is saying, that's fake news, that's fake news, you know, because they don't actually have one. It's just a prototype or ideas, a visionary of what they're building. Oh, that's very peaceful. You just calm me down. That doesn't change the fact that they're aiming to build it. Oh, my goodness. See, I don't trust these fact, so-called fact checkers anymore, man. When I read it, it's just hilarious. They're just finding ways around it because they know that people are getting scared about this. So what's the solution? Look at, verse, uh, look at verse 8. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land. So right here, that's important. Remnant is an important word in your Bible. So these people are going to be so fed up with the Antichrist and his, uh, his other leaders and elitists and their, and their world system that they're going to take the spoils from him when God conquers the Antichrist and his world kingdom. Now, all the Republicans and truthers are all going to say, yeah, that's right, but let me tell you something. No matter how much you push, and they are trying to push it, it's a non-winning battle. You're going to lose because the Antichrist will still take over. The remnant is not, I'm a conservative, I'm a Republican. That's laughable, okay? It's being a saved believer. Amen. And in the tribulation, they have their salvation. We Christians have our salvation. And we get raptured before the tribulation. Yes. So then there will be other people who will open their eyes and become, say, believers in the tribulation. Yes. So that's the remnant. Look up the word remnant in your Bible. Most of the time it's referring to tribulation saints. Okay, say believers. It's not referring to Republicans. I don't see that in the Bible or Trump. So look at these guys. They're trying to do a good deed. They're trying to push something conservative or free speech, whatever, but it's a non-winning battle. Title of the article from Gizmodo, Elon says he'll make his own phone if Apple and Google deplatform Twitter. <laughs> That's how bad it's getting. So Elon says, I'll do it, you know, because he always, you know, he's a rich guy and he can get away with things. But title of the article from NPR News, Elon Musk says he will grant amnesty to suspended Twitter accounts. Oh, so that's uh, pretty good then, right? So all these people who got suspended, they can come back again. Well, the title of the article from The Verge is Elon Musk's giant payday on trial. Everything he said in court. Look, you touch a uh, big bear, That's uh, don't think you can get away with it. So then they're trying to get him on his thing, all right? They're trying to get him on his, uh, on his money, his taxes, and stuff like that, his income. So we've yet to see. But you can see that Musk is not the Christian savior. You know what happened? Title of the article from CNBC News, Elon Musk actively searching for a new Twitter CEO, sources say. By the way, some people are wondering about Jared Kushner, you know, his ties with the uh, Antichrist people. Well, guess who was spotted with him at the World Cup final? 
Elon Musk. Tie of the article from The Hill, Musk and Kushner spotted at World Cup final. All right, what about Carrie Lake? He's, she's still trying to fight to uh, win her uh, election that, no, I won. So she's uh, contesting against the votes. Well, in CNN Politics, title of their article, Maricopa Judge allows narrow part of Kerry Lake's Arizona election lawsuit to head to trial. Okay, there's hope. Nope. Title of the article from NPR News, Kerry Lake loses her legal challenge to the results of the Arizona governor's race. And then it gets worse. Title of the article from CNN, Arizona judge orders Kerry Lake to compensate Katie Hobbs for some fees for election lawsuit, but declines to sanction her. Can you believe it? They were trying to even sank, not just pay, but sanction. So at least she didn't get sanctioned, but she still has to pay. What about Trump? Well, when he heard news about Musk exposing the Twitter files and that they were deliberately changing, uh, that they were changing and hiding uh, Biden scandals so that Biden could win the election, Trump saw that as something hopeful. So then he argued, the title of the article from the Washington Times, Trump declares redo of 2020 election upon revelations of Twitter suppressing Hunter Biden stories. Well, believe it or not, they don't tell you this in the news. This is from the Highland County Press. Supreme Court, title of the article, Supreme Court considers Bronson v. Adams. This is December 16, 2022. What they're arguing is, by using this case, they could contest, and this is from four guys from Utah, and they're seeking the removal of President Biden, Vice President Harris, along with 291 U.S. representatives and 94 U.S. senators who voted to certify the electors to the Electoral College on January 6, 2021, without first investigating serious allegations of election fraud in a half a dozen states and foreign election interference and a breach of national security in the 2020 presidential election. Believe it or not. So this is really big. It might sound hopeful. This is from Tim Canova, who's a professor of law and public finance from Nova Southeastern University Shepherd Broad College of Law. But uh, other news sources cover that. But look up that case. They're trying to contest that one. But a lot of mainstream people aren't mentioning that. It makes you wonder why. Because if you have public support, that puts more pressure, don't, don't it? Yeah. If you have public support. So they don't want public to support it. Uh, title of the article from Huff Post: Trump had hidden 19.8 million loan from North Korea linked company as president report. Sounds like a reliable leader, isn't he? <laughs> Trump's not the savior. As a matter of fact, because of uh, DeSantis and then other people coming out, some people are wondering. This is the title of the article from USA Today. Trump in t trouble. Republican support for his 2024 bid falls amid po political legal setbacks. So we've yet to see. Trump realizes pressure. So in the title of the article from Newsweek, Trump insists he didn't want Ivanka and Jared Kushner to help with 2024 run. Now, some of you have heard that the, the biggest news probably was with uh, Kanye West, all right? But supposedly, a guy named Milo, I think I'm, Yiannopoulos, okay, he's the one that used to support Trump. And uh, he's, uh, he's uh, from the LGBTQ plus branch, actually, believe it or not. But uh, he felt like he was betrayed, and then he actually, he claimed he set up that meeting where Donald Trump had a surprise visit from uh, not just Kanye West, but Nick Fuentes. And for some of you who don't know Nick Fuentes, this guy is total anti-Semite, okay? He's a Holocaust denier. The title of the article from The Guardian, Milo uh, Yiannopoulos, if I'm pr pronouncing his name right, claims he set up Fuentes' dinner to make Trump's life miserable. So, in fact, Kanye West abruptly leaves Tim Pool podcast while discussing anti-Semitism charges in Fox News. He was so comfortable in that podcast, but he felt like, I'm not giving my opinion about the Holocaust. You know, the Holocaust didn't actually happen because he's buddies with Nick Fuentes. So the podcast couldn't take his heat. So obviously, Alex Jones would have him. 
And some of these people, you know, were saying, this is going to be a big thing, you know. I mean, it's going to uh, tear the, the elitists apart. And, you know, even Mark Dice was saying, you know, I'm not supposed to say, but he might have this kind of interview and this might be a big thing. And like I warned you before, don't put your faith in that. You know what happened. It was, it was a mess. The title of the article from The Hill Mask Yi, so Yi puts on a mask, which, makes, which is very strange and weird. Like, his face is covered with black. You think he's a villain. And then Mask Yi goes on anti-Semitic tirade on Infowars saying, I like Hitler. Yeah. So even Alex Jones like, I can't do this. So he broke the silence on Steven Crowder's channel, the, one of the most popular conservative guys in YouTube. Louder with Crowder channel, title of the article is Exclusive Interview, Alex Jones Breaks Silence on Yee Interview, Louder with Crowder. Parler, could he even handle him? Not even Parler. That's where all the conservatives and all the uh, truthers are going to, but title of the article from uh, AV Club is from Yahoo, Kanye West Parler deal is officially dead. How about that? So that's from the AV Club, and I got it from Yahoo News right here. Here's another one from NME, and that's an entertainment industry news. So go to NME.com. What I suspected, I believe, turned out to be true. Title of the article, Kanye West opens up about mental health. Okay, I'm crazy, but what y'all going to do about it? Now, Alex Jones claims that I don't think that he's crazy. I think he just wants to show off, be supernova. But usually some of the symptoms, and I study psychology, like I told you guys before, they have a tendency to do that, okay? So, you know, if I knew, I knew when, uh, when Yee was going to go on that channel, I knew it was going to be a mess. Because when I was looking at him, I was like, this guy's not stable. So he's not smart. Well, you know what the problem is with this uh, conservative truther movement that we should all side and you should group up in? No. Catholicism can take that. Because like I told you, Catholicism is a chameleon. They can go left wing and right wing. A lot of news uh, reporters are Catholics in Fox News. The uh, majority of the politicians, uh, in, uh, the big liberal politicians, they associate themselves with Catholic schooling or Catholic by religion. So they're very big. Believe it or not, even the truthers, Nick Fuentes, you didn't know this, I'm, I don't know, but he's a Catholic. But he was a Catholic, and he's a Catholic that's totally where he denies a Holocaust, and he believes in authoritarian government in a Catholic way. That's like the Inquisition, bringing back the Inquisition. Well, uh, I will end it off right here, okay? I've said enough. I will end it off right here. There's a lot more that I want to cover, but I'll cover the other news sources next time because this can be later, okay? But you see right here that uh, a lot has happened right here, okay? And just being a Republican truther doesn't uh, mean that you're on the good side. So then what do you do then when you have truth? You have to become a saved person. Otherwise, you're living a lie no matter what, no matter how much you know even. You have to be saved. And then the second thing is, after you get saved, you have to grow in your salvation in the Lord. That's the team you want to be in, God's side. Not Republican, truther, liberal, mainstream, or whatnot. you got to be in the right side of God because he conquers the Antichrist kingdom at the end and the remnant will join with him and us Christians will join with him at the rapture and second advent. Let's close with a word of prayer. Father God, I pray tonight's teaching was a blessing to the hearers and that uh, everyone's fully aware of what's happening in our world and not be ignorant, Lord, and that as Christians we'll be more busy than ever, more active than ever, more aware than ever to do our part for you in this sinful day and age we live in. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.